All right, now one of the things I wanna talk about real quick is how low carb diets like keto can actually worsen insulin sensitivity and make it harder for you to carb up afterwards. Now I know this goes against the narrative that low carb diets like keto actually improve insulin sensitivity, but you have to understand why that happens. It's not the diet that improves insulin sensitivity, it's that the person doing the diet has lost fat. If you lose fat, it doesn't matter what diet you're doing, you're going to improve your insulin sensitivity. If you're not fat to begin with though, going on a low carb diet like keto can actually cause issues with insulin sensitivity. So I figured I'd talk about that real quick. Now, first off, when you consume a lot of fatty acids, which you probably would if you're on a low carb diet because you have to get the energy from somewhere, that in itself can worsen muscle insulin sensitivity. And on top of that, a diet without carbs reduces the enzymes responsible for storing glucose as glycogen. So what happens is you end up putting yourself into a deprived state to what your body adapts by preventing glucose uptake by the muscles to reduce the risk of hypoglycemia, which causes peripheral insulin resistance. Then when you reintroduce carbs in an effort to carb up, due to the peripheral insulin resistance that you've given yourself, you won't be able to store a lot of glycogen in the muscles, which is how and why it can be hard to carb up after you've been on a low carb diet for an extended period of time.